Today's lesson is going to be about weaving. Now this is, is not the project we're going to be doing, but when we talk about weaving, it's one of the oldest art forms that's out there. And it's also something we call a functional art because that means it's something we actually use in everyday life. Some art is just meant to be looked at, but other art forms we use. Weaving is one of those things. It can be as simple as weaving a rug, or here's a small project from one of my former students that they were working on but did never complete. Uh, or it could even be this weaving is more just to be looked at. It's where we wove in a tree, so it can be take all kinds of forms, but it can also be the clothing you wear. Now today, our project is going to involve uh, making a bracelet, which I haven't got it quite finished, but we're going to be working on it together. It's going to be a bracelet that you wear, and we're going to be using a type of yarn. We're going to have to make a loom. A loom is what holds the threads straight, and then uh, I'm going to show you how to do the weaving and how to finish it. Now the first thing we need to do is get a piece of cardboard. Now it can be as simple as getting a box that you have at home, if that's sturdy enough. Or if you have a package that came in the mail and you want to use it, it just needs to be a little bit heavy. Uh, I've already got a piece already pre-cut to about the right size right here and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now the first thing we need to do is make a circle. Well, here I've got just an old cup and I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna trace around it. Now I've got my circle drawn. I'm gonna see if I can figure out about the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna draw it about right there. Then I'm gonna think about a little bit about going around my circle and I wanna think about, first of all, about a clock. So I'm gonna start at 12, three, six, and nine. So I've divided it into four sections. Well, now I'm gonna split each one of these in half. So, and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I've now made eight marks on my circle. And now it's time to cut it out. All right, now all of those marks I had before, I'm gonna just make a cut, a little bit of a slit. I just want just a little bit of a cut inside because that's what's gonna hold my yarn in place. So I'll make eight, all eight cuts, make sure I've cut all of them. Let's see, it looks like I've got one more to go. All right, looks like I got them all. Now I need to punch that middle hole. Now, you probably just need to find something that's sharp. You might need an adult to help you with this because you don't want to have your finger behind. A lot of times I might even start it out with a pin and make sure my pin fingers are way away from where the point is because you don't want to poke yourself. And then I use something to make the hole bigger. Sometimes once I do that a little bit, I actually stick another pin because I want the circle just got a little bit of size on it needs to be just a little bit so that I can stick my yarn inside. So now I've got my loom, that's what holds my thread in place. I now need to cut my thread. Now, what you wanna do is get some kind of a yarn. I, I, don't, I actually get kind of a cotton yarn because that makes a really nice bracelet. Uh, it's not really fat, but you could use yarn or embroidery floss or something like that. And you're going to measure you need seven pieces that are 24 inches each. So I'm going to measure until I have, so there's one piece, so I'm going to measure until I have all seven pieces about 24 inches. Once you make it the first time for your wrist, you may not need all of that, but to make sure it's big enough, that's good. Well, I've already pre-cut some yarn. And I'm gonna get my yarn all in place. I actually haven't even cut some of the edges, but I have enough so that I have three lengths here. I'll line it up here to 
because I'm gonna tie it. You can keep them all separate, but sometimes I'm in a hurry and I just measure it off. So I, I chose three of one color and four of another. Okay, when you, all you need to do is just tie a knot, bring all the threads at once around, and we'll, we'll loop it there. Leave yourself, oh, an inch or so, I just measure it with there, about that much, you, and that gives you a little bit of uh, room to tie it off later. Now we're gonna try and put it through this hole, and you sometimes, I sometimes get more luck if I actually push on the, start pull, pulling this part and pushing this through. You just wanna pull through the knot, and then we're gonna leave this little tail right there. Now, make sure, I didn't actually cut all mine, I cut these, make sure they're all individual ones. Let's see if that's everything, oop. Yep. All right, so now I'm going to set up my uh, loom. And you've got seven threads, and you've got one, eight places. And it really doesn't matter what order I put them in. You can alternate them if you want to with colors. You're not gonna get an exact match anyway because you have more of one than another. You don't have to, because in a minute, you're gonna get them all mixed up anyway. And this is what you should have. When I'm all done, I put the empty one at the top. Now let's talk about how you're gonna weave, because you've got only one thing you do for the rest of the time. I always think of this as the top, and I'm gonna count this way. One, two, three. I'm gonna take the third one, I'm gonna pull it out from behind and stick it in the top. Now I wanna put the, put it on top again. And I'm just gonna keep on doing that. Every once in a while, I have to give this a little tug. So you'll see there's the yarn coming through. So just continue doing this. Here's one I started earlier and we're getting, now you can see the bracelet coming through. When you're happy with the length, and I usually just measure my wrist to see if I've got enough, then I'm ready to take it out. I'm gonna unhook. And then I just tie another knot at the end so that it won't come unwoven. So there is my bracelet. And you can see, then I can tie it on my wrist. And then I'm ready and I've got my woven friendship bracelet all ready to go. Uh, you can use any kind of yarn that you want to. You could use as many different colors as you want to. You can use two. Uh, this other one I had three on. Uh, there's three different ones, so it's up to you what pattern. Two looks really nice, though. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have fun practicing with this.